Well, how I got started in the ministry, I was the president of the Young People's Society, and the pastor left at the Damascus Church. I say there was two churches, and I guess there was another place up somewhere off on the Thunder Park Road that they had service. But anyway, he left, and the deacons, they kept asking the young people to have the service, but I was the president of the young people, so I was kind of responsible for the service, and I uh, had to do something mm -hmm. to try to <laughs> try to preach. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, before, kind of before this, I was the president of the young people, and the Baptist church used to have uh, I don't know really what all they called it, but they called it an oratorical contest where anyone, I guess, could go and speak and then you were judged as to what. And uh, so I entered that and I was the, got the highest grade of anyone, I guess. I don't know what the mark was now, but. Anyway, they always so that kind of is how I got started into yeah, the yeah. into the ministry. And how many years were you in Lower Brighton with Russell? Well, I think I was only there two years. Mm -hmm. I went there, and I didn't have my high school, and I wanted to go to college. And back then, Bethany had a high school department, but. I, I got my high school from Russell mm -hmm. Brown yeah. and uh, went into Woodstock and wrote my matriculation, uh -huh. which a lot of fellas didn't. Uh, Matt McElhaney and Bruce Bridgio, mm -hmm. all the fellas, they never passed their matrics, and I know they, <laughs> they got to be college professors who weren't very good, I don't think. Okay, so... And in connection with that, after, well, I was in the ministry and had come back to Havelock, and Ron Mitchell was the president of Bethany, and uh, he used to want me to, to take some classes, so... This is many years later. This is in the 70s, right? You're, well, you're it was to... after I'd come back to have a right to pastor. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if it was him. I think it was through Bill Burberry, maybe, that I uh, got started with hmm. classes. And Ron Mitchell was, was the president. And he was kind enough to tell me this. I might as well blow a little. But uh, he told me, and I didn't ask for it, but he told me, he said, you know, I've interviewed all the student body one by one. You probably were included on it, were you? I don't remember, because I didn't take any of those classes from you. No. I never took any. Well, anyway. Mr. Mitchell told me, I, I don't know how long I was there, it was, seems to me it was two or three years, I wasn't think that's it? right, yeah. yeah. Four, maybe. But anyway, he told me that he had interviewed the student body one by one, and one of the questions he asked them was who they thought was doing the best job of teaching, and he said there were more people voted for me than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Which made me feel kind of good. Of course, yeah. I didn't get too puffed up over it. So, this was you taught one course at a time, an evening course, I think, wasn't it? Well, yeah. So it was an evening course, pretty much, I guess. Yeah. I went. Yeah. I don't know for a couple hours or something like that. Maybe. I remember when Kevin Smith, Henry's son came to visit us here a couple of years ago in Maryland. Uh, 
He was talking about you coming and speaking at chapel. And I wish I could remember. He remembered almost word for word your sermon. He was... <laughs> he was... Who was that? Kevin Smith. He's, oh, yeah. uh, you know, uh, uh, Henry and Doris's son. I... <laughs> I think it might have had to do with Balaam and his donkey <laughs> and about God using an ass. <laughs> what? Well, it was just I don't remember the details, but he was he had he had remembered it. He was there for that chapel that you had preached at. And uh, he remembered big parts of it word for word almost, I think. Uh, what 